Hi guys, today I'm gonna make a, a character. She's her name is Melissa Pyre. Um, she's a 10x accelerator program manager at UNSW Foundis. Uh, we've been running a lot of classes with her, and we find it very helpful. And she did pretty great on the community services. Um, so today I'm gonna um, try to model her and have her wave. Um, uh, Tenex program plan. So we started with her face. Um, it's a QB choppy little head, and then I'll make her neck. Two arms stretch further out, body. Um, two legs, and maybe a shoes. This will be a probably very standard model that we're gonna use in the future as well. In that case, I'll probably just save this as a character template. Okay, once I'm done with the character template, I'm gonna decorate it like uh, what Melissa will look like. Let me just quickly put up how Melissa looks like. Um, this is what she looks like in the photo. Okay, now let's put on hair. Hmm. Let's try remove some part of her face to make it more. Hmm. Yep, that looks more like her with the hair stretching out. Yep simpler mm, and then probably even simpler and smaller yep that looks more like her maybe even thinner mm, nah. let's just keep it like this uh, put on the color um, blonde hair relatively like gold color golden color maybe we can even go a little bit darker double click to change the color I oh know that looks quite nice. I like it. All right, that isn't too bad at all. Maybe I can just even extend the hair a little bit. Hmm, looks good. Um, skin color is a bit pinkish. Oops. Um, I use the, the brush too, so it's actually two blocks. If I use the uh, paint brush, you double click on it, it will paint the rest of the colors in. That looks good. Um, then the eyes is very dark color. Let's just make it adorable like a little. <laughs> and then um, lipsticks. Very nice lipsticks. There you go. This is a very tiny version of simple version of um, Melissa. And then I'm gonna put her on black dress that she's have it on her linking page. And then color it in. Um, she wears white color inside. So white color clothing. Mm. Oh, the software is a, a bit overexposed right now. We'll probably tweak down the color on the next version. Okay, necklace. Where she always wearing? Uh, very simple, just two dots. <laughs> uh, maybe add some nice shoes. Oh, I will assume she probably wear very nice um, black shoes. And maybe. It's a skirt instead of a um, a pants. Skirt probably looks nicer on her. Nope, I don't know. Yeah, maybe something like this. It isn't too bad. Um, turn down, cut down, trim it a bit of the skirt. Yep, that looks more like her. Yeah, and uh, maybe give her a thumb. Thumb? Nope. 
uh, press, press O to pick color that's a thumb um, what I want to do is possibly to put a um, 10x plate on her so that she shows up more um, emotions oh uh, well let's do it separately let's just save this as Melissa Pierre save it okay that works let me double check if it's still recording yes it is uh, it's pretty good toggle this to turn on the um, turntable and you can see how everything looks quite nice now I can rig it new puppet Melissa put bones onto Melissa ah, I did one of her before that one is a bit too simple so we make a better one today all right uh, the rejoin is where every part of the body is and then there's uh, the hips the uh, the ankle and the chest the shoulders and probably put the neck there let's see how this will perform if it doesn't work then I can I always make changes to it seems pretty nice turn off the transparent yep looks amazing this look exactly like her all right have her do a little bit of uh, the frost looks good turn off the bow yep looks perfect idol say hi work walk yep pretty nice um i think that's good with that's safe uh melissa pepper okay what we are gonna do next is have her do the um 10x plate so let me have a 10x play on her which looks like a a wooden play just simple let's just keep everything rather simple yep and it says 10x on top of it 10 oops just forgot to turn off the mirror 10 X 10 X program. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, well, let's make the letter bolt 10 X. Yay! Mm. Let's just pull this out a little bit. Yeah, um, I think that's good. That's good. 10 X banner. Alright, uh, looks perfect. Perfect, perfect, yeah. Now go to the stage, put uh, Melissa in. Inside Puppet, where we just made the Melissa Puppet. And then on her hand, the right hand, we put a um, tennis banner. Oh uh, well, let's. Just rotate a little bit because her arm, her thumb is actually facing that way. But we can always do this um, part. Hey, have the arm bend a little bit so that it doesn't look as stiff. The head to take away from it, so it's actually looking more towards the tan expander. Yay! There you go. Okay, what pose should her be doing? Oh, wait, let's turn on the, the rotate the light a little bit so the light is facing us. So it's not as dark. Um, let's just have her do a very simple loop. First frame, last frame. It's a very simple loop animation of her waving. Yay, very simple. It's under 10 minutes and we got this. Let's have her hand do a little bit extra movement like 
Um, when she wakes up, the when she falls, and there's a little bit secondary animation, which means like the top part of the bone moves makes the lower part of the bone also moves. For example, when it falls, it do a little bit like that. When it goes up, it does something like this. Hey, <laughs> um, that's still a little bit stiff. So probably a little bit of random movement of the leg, so it doesn't look as stiff. Um, the head is probably the most important part that needs to be key. Otherwise, it will also look really really um, stiff mm. nope, this this pose is pretty bad it should be like that this is he that is and that should probably be bent a little bit <laughs> oh well, it's fun animating F Melissa doing the tennis program oh yay um, people don't hold things at the lowest part it, they normally hold it on the middle part so this needs to be fixed actually I should not do it on the middle keyframe it should probably be on the first keyframe now it kind of mm, let's just have it more open yeah it, that should be fine okay that's good now where should, should her be doing this in a goddess boy um, sunny grass on the moon yep totally should do it on the moon oh on the motion Oh, on the ocean, on the moon, on the moon, it's good. Alright, mm, last part. We should probably export this. I think it's pretty good. Um, should we have some background from it? For it? No, that, that's good. Export. It's, uh, let's put it on a uh, social media friendly <laughs> aspect ratio, which is a uh, square. Instagram, maybe. Yay, let's do it like that and export as a mp4 i think that's good or oh, gif gif easier to share all right there you go uh, save to desktop it's called Lisa. and that's pretty much it peer 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 i actually don't know how to pronounce that Whew. and maybe a, a mp4 as well Done, easy as that. Um, maybe save this and publish it so that the student who watching this video can play around uh, when they search on the scenes. Well, you can. Yeah, anyone can now play around with this scene. Da 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 da. Da 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 da.